variety hey everyone so i'm still working on this one um got a lot of parts for it that came in i'm still waiting on the motor that should be here yeah roughly tuesday um just uh working on getting all the parts together and all that um let's see cleaned up the workspace a bit uh earlier it's pretty late right now. It's like 1.15 in the morning. So, uh, been working on that one. Also, been working on this one. So, um, the fender here, working on uh, getting that done. Um, Still need to get a sprocket hub. I need to get a rotor hub and the sprocket and the rotor to go with it. Well, roughly, yeah. Um, probably not going to uh, do that kind of motor in it. Um, let me show you guys here. Yeah. Probably not going to do that kind of motor. Um, Go, Power, uh, Go Power Sports has a... Uh, uh, Tillotson motor, it's like, I think it's a 125 or something like that. Really good motor, you know, pretty pricey, but I think that'd probably be the way to go. Uh, get, get, uh, the Tillotson motor and I'll probably have to raise the frame up a little bit from right here. I'll probably have to bring that up just a little bit, perhaps, maybe, possibly, to fit that motor in it. So I was thinking about doing that, and yeah, I figured that would be a good idea. I am going to run this wheel. Um, it's pretty small, but uh, I still like it, so probably end up running that. Um, did get a uh, uh, motor mount, the uh, little aluminum that came in today from Go Power Sports. Um, this is the uh, original one that I got and then ended up getting another one. Turns out that they're exactly the same. Um, but it also turns out that um, not all big blocks are considered equal. All right, so um, the uh, uh, Predator uh, 420, the way it mounts is a little bit smaller than the uh, Duramax 440. Even though they're both big blocks, uh, the Duramax 440 is just a hair bigger. So I was like, well, hell, you know, I guess I'll end up getting uh, something that'll fit it. And that's probably going to be, be uh, the Tillotson. Um, I did get in uh, the steering stabilizer. Um, got this here, the dry lube. Um, got the uh, uh, chain roller. Got that in. And got another uh, feeler gauge. Uh, wire brush. Then, of course, I got the uh, uh, torque converter. Got that in. Uh, got in uh, the uh, exhaust flange. Kind of like the do-it-yourself kit. You know, welded on. Um, got in uh, the uh, fuel shutoff. Uh, zip ties. Um, got these here for the gas tanks. Uh, not the gas tank on the bike, but uh, those gas tanks down over there. So, kind of like the old school style. So, got that. Um, let's see. Uh, drug out um, the Normstar clutch, which, of course, doesn't work very well with the... Uh, uh, big blocks, you know, too much power in them. They just burn up. Um, I do have uh, some hubs 
they won't work for what I'm doing, but I figured, yeah, that's all right. You know, I'm just have to order new ones. Um, I do have the, uh, the big block motor mount plate. I figured having that's a good idea. Um, let's see, what are these? Oh, and this here is for bleeding the brake on the bike. I needed ones that were smaller. The, uh, hole there, you know, needed it to be much smaller. So, that'll work. Um, let's see. And then, of course, I got these. Now, this, uh, rotor, I, uh, shaved it down um i'll just end up getting a whole nother one and the hub to go with it of course so um not tonight you know obviously but sometime i have to cut out those motor mounts i'm not going to be needing them um probably end up taking out that uh oil cooler mount Take all that, basically gut it out again. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I still have the uh, ground hooked up for welding. Um, this piece here will end up going down here because it's a little bit uh, long at the bottom, so. I'll weld that in and I'll give it some strength so it won't flop around in the wind. This part here is this this strung here, just that bottom part. End up I'll end up getting that done. Um Yeah, so far so good. Um I've been sick, you know, with uh the flu uh uh type A. You know, so got oh well not completely over it yet. Um, boy, that stuff really sucks, too, you know, <laughs> the flu, oh, man, that really sucks, let me, uh, uh, put that out, um, let's see, uh, that bike, well, that one's pretty much done, for the most part, that one's done, um, this one here, I'll, get to that later um yeah so oh yeah and i got a uh a billet aluminum pull start i figured yeah why not you know it looks nice um i was thinking uh getting a piece of tubing kind of like this here where this would fit right in and uh, just take off like a little piece. Let me show you guys here. So if I take this, cut off about that much, roughly. Cut off about that much. Just enough so that it will slide, that piece will slide right in there. And uh, tack walled it up on uh, the uh, motor uh, cover, actually got this one here I can show you on this one because I'm working on this one I uh, have this covering it but um yeah now this one here was the one that was leaking where I messed up the block I put a uh, JB weld where the crack was now the crack was right across here going to the oil drain plug and it was still leaking, but where it, the way is leaking is down here where the oil would drain out through here. All right. So I couldn't get to the crack that was up in there and, you know, that connects to that. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Uh, um, well, just where it drains, there's like, like this little hole in there. Um, so, basically, this here, I sealed it off. I filled it with JB Weld and put the bolt back in it. Don't need that one. Um, but it was still leaking. So, I went ahead and took the cover off, which is right here. I cleaned up the cover, 
pretty good actually and uh cleaned up this here so i when i go to put it all back together you know it shouldn't leak because i filled in i can't actually show you like that let me grab a light okay there we go you can see the jb weld right there and right there and the hole goes underneath that uh that little uh dip right there or not dip uh that where this piece here goes underneath that which i thought was a little weird but i can pretty much understand why so i filled that in with jb weld more than likely that will not hold you know more than likely i'm pretty sure however I do have another plan. Now that motor, I'm going, probably going to end up using it as a parts motor. But just in case, you know, for whatever reason, I do not use it as a parts motor and I want to get it up and running again. I have this guy here. This is a spool gun. And I do aluminum welding with this. Now, I'm not great at it because I haven't got a lot of practice. And let me show you. I don't know why I'm carrying around this little flashlight for. Um, there we go. Okay. Let me show you guys here. All right. So, this here, I weld. Oops. <laughs> smashed my phone with this. You can see here where I welded it there, across there, the back side there, and kind of grinded it down. Now, I was thinking to myself, well, if that JB weld does not hold, which I'm almost positive it will not, because uh, I have two different types of JB weld, right? Let me I just set this right here. And uh, there they are these two here all right those are the quick set right so what i was wanting to use was a different one that takes much longer to set up which of course i don't know where it's at of course i don't know where it's oh there it is right here this one that one takes a lot longer to set up but the heat that it can handle is by far a lot more than that one it's a lot more it handles a lot more heat than that one unfortunately i got them mixed up and used the quick set on there go figure you know just my luck so more than likely it won't hold right so one day when i get bored I'm going to hook this back up to my Lincoln welder. That's what it goes to. I'll hook it up to that. Got the uh, uh, argon gas. You know, I got plenty of that. And I'll just, I'll zap that hole, you know, that's in there, that oil drain hole. I'll zap it because inside the block, inside, it does not have any cracks. Now, if there is a crack, it would have been right here, right at the edge, right up in there. And there is no cracks. I only cracked that part right there where the bolt goes through, the motor mount bolt, which of course, man, that looks absolutely awful. So I figured, well, I can clean it all out you know, it probably take me a little bit of time, but it'll give me something to do. You know, I got, you know, these little picks like that. I got all kinds of those and I just go through it, pick it all out and clean it up. You know, make sure, you know, all the oil is out of there, out of that spot anyhow. Get it perfectly clean. And zap it with, uh, you know, the welder, and that should do. Now this here, this part right there, 
the crack is right here in that spot. This spot here, I filled that in because I grinded it down to fit something. I don't know. I don't know why I grinded it down, but that's not a problem. You know, just the inside right there where I put that damn JB weld. Too late right now to do anything about it. Um, I was looking at these and I was like, oh my God, these things are crazy loose. I'm almost positive that that needs uh, readjusting. So I'll do that some other time as well. And yeah, yeah, so. I got a plan, I got a plan. <laughs> yeah, I have another one of these coming, that one that I was talking about. Yeah, got another one of those coming. Um, a few other parts here and there. Uh, tools actually, uh, motor and uh, uh, valve spring uh, compressor. Cause these ones here, I think they're 40 or 45 pound, something like that. This is this, this ain't no 220. 220, you could just by hand just push that right in and change out the spring and put in a an 18 or or 20 something by hand, you know. But these. Ha! Good luck, you know, Mr. You know, super strong hands, you know. <laughs> You'd have to have some Popeye looking hands, you know, to mess with those ones. Those things are crazy strong. <sighs> oh, look at me. <laughs> Anyhow, so then this one drug this out you know i'm going to clean this up take off all these pieces here um probably this here um this one i believe it's for the shifter down or not the shifter but for the brake so i want to leave that part alone um a lot of the the messed up parts of the frame I'll uh, cut those pieces off. I want to leave the motor mounts because what I'm going to do is continue this piece here up and over, kind of loop it around, all right? And I know, you know, uh, this here probably won't work so well with these, but I'll work on that some other time. But um, I want to loop it around and then build a bike, a whole frame, a fork, the frame and all attached to this. Bring it up and over, the fork coming down over there, the swing arm coming out. Now, I believe I have a, uh, I believe that's a 420 on there. What is that? Uh, it's upside down. Yeah, 420. So that'll work nicely. So yeah, eventually that's what I'll end up doing is just building a, a frame just off of what's left of this one and clean it all up and there we go, yeah. Figured that'd be a good idea. Now, like stuff like this, it's gotta go. This piece here, that's for suspension. I won't do suspension with this. Nope, nope. And like uh, this piece here, yeah, that'd have to go. Anything that's, you know, like this, you know, probably that'd have to go. I think uh, it'd be for the hose here would come down and hook into that and but nah I'll just all that's got to go I got to take the motor completely out I've never actually taken the motor out of the what's left of the frame but eventually I will need to do that so I can get underneath it clean it um I have gone and uh cleaned up the motor I've gone into the motor I've uh fixed and you know polished everything through and through going all the way down took off everything cleaned up the, the piston the, the the piston rod the uh, carburetor everything you know the carburetor I had you know when put it in the ultrasonic uh, cleaner and cleaned it all up and made sure it's super polished and clean um, same thing with, uh, well, it's kind of dirty now, but down here, 
I mean, it's just dusty for the most part, just dusty. I had this thing completely all cleaned up and I just have to do the underside now, get that done. Um, it does have a skid plate on it, which that also needs to come off and get cleaned up when I get this here off and yeah, it's a, uh, it's a bit of work, but it's fun. It gives, you know, I mean, for people that are into motors and building mini bike frames and, you know, trying to take something like this and incorporate it with something like that and, you know. That's shit, man. That's that's some fun stuff right there. That's a lot of fun. So that's one of the things that I'll be doing. Getting that in an actual bike and get it running. So yeah, there we go. So thanks guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Um uh keep an eye out for uh new videos on this bike here um i'm almost uh, completely done with this uh uh flu type a i believe that's what it's called i'm almost done with that i have a little bit of cough left still here and there but for the most part i'm pretty good so once uh i'm 100 percent again then i will finish once I get the motor, because I definitely need the motor to finish it. Um, that motor mount plate uh, will come out, and the new one will go in. I will mount the motor to the plate before I weld the plate down. Because uh, every time I every time I weld the plate down, I think it's just right. It ain't. It's, it ain't right at all. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll get that done, you know, once I'm feeling better so thanks guys for watching um i do appreciate it so much like subscribe leave a comment and i'll be talking to you guys really soon